welcome to another episode of Talk the Talk. I'm Desh Palay Bechin and I am your host for today. Actually, I'm all your, always your host because I host the show. But joining me today is Anne Marie Heymans and she's the used vehicle sales executive at Geis Pizza Motors, Wonder Warm. Now, I've been wanting to get uh, someone from Hayes into my studio so this is amazing um, because I did not even know she was coming she was it, it was just by pure coincidence I'm really really excited to introduce her to you I've spent some time with her off air and she is absolutely amazing so Anne Marie knows how important it is to find the right vehicle for her client and that is why she always puts her clients needs first she's very energetic and enthusiastic as I said earlier on and loves putting a smile on her clients faces she's also a nominee for the motoring woman of the year awards 2022 now she's moved up to the top 300 and she is top 30 in her category out of thousands of nominations so let's welcome Anne Marie and as always this interview is proudly brought to you by Sariti Solutions Hello, Anne. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Gosh, you've had a busy <clears throat> morning. It's been a good month for you. Um, a few units, you've moved quite a few. Um, so business is definitely picking up, right? Yes, definitely. Um, I agree with that. Business is going good and we've been very blessed to have such amazing months. Mm -hmm. So tell me, where did your journey with Ches begin? Not Ches, where did your journey in the industry begin? Okay, so my journey actually began, I think, with my brothers. Mm -hmm. They've been in the motor industry since I can remember. Wow. Honestly, yeah, both mm -hmm. my brothers, sales manager. One is actually a sales manager for Hayes as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, How many principal. franchises are there of Hayes? Okay, so cr currently we've got four. Wow. Four franchises. Wow. Yes. You've grown quickly. Very quickly. And then also, you know, part of growing is doing it reliable, you know, mm -hmm. with the used vehicle trade as well. You know, mm -hmm. you have to be reliable. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe that's why we've I, grown so much. I'm hoping that you and I can do some sessions and, <laughs> you know, some educational based uh, content on reliable used car dealerships. As I said mm. earlier on, there's a stigma attached. Uh, and I think I, I have the most amazing used car dealerships on my network. And I think we need to remove that stigma that's attached to used car. And I, I'm hoping that Ches and I can get together. Not Ches. Ches is the owner's name, right? Yeah, Ches. <laughs> Ches <laughs> I'm hoping that we could actually get together and maybe put some great content and mm. some advice and some guidance for um, our viewers or for women yeah. in general in the motoring trade. No, I agree with that. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Stigma, it has to go. It has to be removed. Uh -huh. um, you know, I think any any person who's been at our dealership, if you've mm -hmm. seen the quality of vehicles that we do have and, you know, just the, the whole floor in general, yes. um, I like to tell my clients, you know what, once you've purchased this car, I want you to get in the vehicle and drive to Cape Town mm -hmm. and not worry about being serviced or a breakdown or anything like that. And mm -hmm. I promise you're going to get in it and enjoy it. Absolutely. Even um, the vehicle you brought to us today, yeah. I think it's 14,000 on the clock. So it is not actually a demo. It's just out of demo. Hey? Yeah, basically. But I mean, you, it's not a case that's just having your, you know, your over 100,000 on the clock. No, yes. you've got some good vehicles um, yeah. that you can offer to the public. So that's amazing. I, I can't Great. wait to do the review on the, it's a volvo hey. yeah it's a volvo xc60 and um, yeah we provide vehicles from like your small little you know like i10 and mm -hmm. then all the way up to like a three four million rand car i mean yeah. at silver lakes i think we've got now ferrari as well yay am i oh, testing that you. next <laughs> <laughs> when can we bring it yes. <laughs> so the volvo i mean i love volvo i hardly do Vol i don't think i've ever done a volvo here but i've driven most of the volvos in fact i was one of the uh, not the ambassadors but i was one of the journalists that drove the xc90 when it came oh, to yeah. cape town yeah so that's uh Vol and i also started my career um my second uh brand was volvo okay. so i love the brand i yeah. love the swedish culture in in terms of the way they do things at the brand but yeah. we are here to talk about uh, you, <laughs> your journey with mode uh, with with Hayes began 
how long yeah. ago? Okay, so basically I've been working for Hay since 2015. Mm -hmm. I started in Atman, so mm -hmm. basically doing your stock controller work and bringing vehicles into stock. And then I left to go overseas. Mm -hmm. uh, me and my husband, my husband at that time was also working for Hayes. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so come, you know, we're Just all there by Hayes. Family, <laughs> family. <laughs> um, and then I actually went overseas, came back, and then I started working for Hayes again, selling vehicles. Wow. And I've loved it every, you know, ever since. There's yeah. nothing I'd rather do than. I mean, Hayes, but uh, the, the dealerships. The name has grown, it's become really a household name brand in yeah. Pretoria. <laughs> it, so quickly, it happened really quickly. Yes. But um, like I said, I did not even know that Ches Pizza, I thought it was just like some name, uh, mm. you know, that was, was thought up by the owner. I didn't know that yeah, the okay. owner's name is Ches. <laughs> um, actually, his father was a, a Springbok rugby player. Yeah. No. Wait, who's his Probably father? Ches Pizza. <laughs> Oh gosh! <laughs> I didn't even know that. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Wow. So yeah, his father wow. actually, and then they started. I think if I I've got the story right, Hayes and his dad started together. Um, I think so. I'm not too quite too sure. Right. Yeah. We need to get the offspring of the celebrity into studio. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. We have to do yeah. that. Um, I think a lot of my followers on my platform are rugby uh, of, of, fans. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look like really dumb right now because I don't know rugby very well. <laughs> but yeah. It's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's your opinion about women empowerment initiatives, especially the one initiative that you've been nominated for in terms of the Motoring Women of the Year Awards? So for me, firstly, I'd like to say I feel very honoured even being nominated for this. Um, I've seen the movement happening and especially since last year, one of my friends was nominated. So uh -huh. I've got a bit of a feel for it. So, you know, mm. I was always like, oh, when will I get nominated? Will I ever get nominated? Uh -huh. So it was such a surprise, but I feel it, it's so empowering for a lot of women. I mean, we're so there's actually so many women in the trade. Yeah. I think it's, it's so misleading. Yeah, it, 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 that's quite a number. Right. Um, and I feel like a lot of people, even with clients, they still have the stigma of a salesman. You know, mm. can I please, when they phone in, I like it when they say, can I please speak to a salesman? And I'm like, yes, sir, you're, speak you're speaking to a sales lady. <laughs> How can I assist you? <laughs> and uh, I feel like, you know, it's, it's just so good empowering women and, you know, all the women in the motor trade, we, everyone that's there belongs there. You know, mm -hmm. you've earned your way. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I, I think it's a big movement and I'm excited to see everything that you guys are about to do with the movement. Mm -hmm. um, so why do you think that women do well in our trade? Especially in the sales position. Well, for me in, in sales, mm -hmm. I think I do well because you know when a client comes in there and you read your client and mm -hmm. you get that feel for the client, um, you know, when you say, you know, you're here for a vehicle, perfect, which vehicle do you want? Mm -hmm. Now I'm looking for a family vehicle. Right. And for me, it's that personal touch with a client. Mm -hmm. A family vehicle. So how many are you guys? You yeah. know, who, who's, who's who? And you've got the mom and the dad and the kids and running around and just to, that personal touch of getting to know your clients mm -hmm. and leading them in a way to make sure that they buy the perfect vehicle. I mean, if you're looking at a family of five, and the by I ten, it, it's it's going to be difficult. So mm -hmm. I think I'm in a very fortunate position in the used car market to actually assist a client with. Yes, maybe the car is a bit older, yeah. but it's well maintained, full mm -hmm. service history, mm -hmm. and you can, everybody can fit and sit comfortably. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's just that personal touch, and I always say I think there's there's not a happier feeling than a client coming back to you. Mm -hmm. You know, when you've assisted a client, it's two years later, and he phones and he says, "Listen here." It's time for me for a new vehicle yeah. and that's validation. Yeah, I love that fact, mm. you know, when you, you speak to a client and they just come back to you and they trust your opinion and validate it, you know, they, they yes. validate your opinion. Yes. And for me, I think that's one of the things that I, I think that I, I bring to the company for Hayes. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. You know, and that is what touch. overall, that's what women bring to the table, mm. empathy, you know, patience most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah no, definitely. And I think. Uh, it's so important to understand that if you want success, mm. um, before you try to engineer the situation, you need to learn to engineer yourself. Yes. And when you do that, you can accomplish whatever you need to accomplish 
in this trade. That's very important. No, I agree with that, definitely. Yeah. So if you could do it all over again, what would you change? Okay, so actually we spoke about this question in the office about a week ago. Oh wow, okay. You know, See, I'm, I'm psychic. I yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm actually well prepared. No, because we spoke about this and people say, you know, what if you maybe went to go study a, a, another direction. Mm -hmm. And I think for me personally, I wouldn't change anything. Yeah. I mean, I went, after my matric, I went overseas, I came back, I got into the trade and I don't think I'll be able to leave it, you know, mm -hmm. for me. I drive so many different cars. I fall, you know, you fall in love with a car. For me, the Volvo. Chase, if he wants to give it to me, he's more than welcome to. <laughs> Chase, give it to me. Yeah, it's working. I drive it. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but yeah, I think you know, I, I wouldn't change anything. And currently, for me, the position I'm in, I'm growing with Chase. Mm -hmm. So, selling vehicles. I love what I do. I love meeting new clients and. Mm -hmm meeting new people oh. you know and this is one thing meeting about our me. trade you're meeting you especially <laughs> no but in our trade you know you go somewhere and you meet somebody from the bank and like for today i've met you and oh. there's always somebody new that you meet even if it's a client it's maybe a guy that's you know he's a farmer and you meet you meet so many different type yes. of people so yes. for me i, I enjoy it so i wouldn't change anything mm -hmm. and currently i'm also studying my f and i Mm -hmm. um, course with Chase now. Right. Ooh, wow. So, yeah. oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So that's, it's so great when a company empowers you even further yes. to move up the ranks. It's so important. To no, that. I agree. Yeah. And Chase, yeah. he truly supports us. Yeah. So you're and part think, of a family. Yeah. And I think it's so important as well. I had a conversation earlier on today um, and, you know, we were talking about failure, but it's so, it, it's significant to understand that what is generally considered um, a, a failure actually deepens your experience, yes. you know, um, mm. and far more so than what you would consider um, success would do for you. Yes, so, no, I agree with that. Yeah, definitely. So, so it's so important to that. How do you, okay, let's talk about you a little bit. How do you, <laughs> what do you do for fun? Okay, so for fun, there's mm -hmm. so many things. I mean, I've got two little kids, so uh -huh. for us, fun sometimes is just being at the house and doing homework. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> and sometimes uh -huh. that okay. must be fun, you know? You, you can come and do into. some homework with my kids if oh. you like. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we actually, fun for us is basically family time, quality time. Right. Uh, we enjoy going with my brother and them if we go like to a farm or that, mm -hmm. and camping. I, I love camping. And then obviously when we go camping, I can take a new vehicle as well <laughs> I love that. use a ranger or something like that <laughs> um, but yeah we we enjoy going camping and fishing and just living life eh? if every Sunday me and my mom we go for a run with the dogs as well mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we take the dog sometimes not but then we do like a 10 kilometer run uh, we haven't gone now for about three weeks because I broke my toe actually oh, no. But it's it's repaired now. Okay. It's fine. It's repaired. <laughs> it's healing. It's healing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's what we do for fun. Basically, it's the camping and the fishing. Yeah. Any advice for a woman that wants to be the next successful Anna Marie mm. in in sales? <laughs> well, I would say any person can be successful in sales. Um, for me, mainly it's it's your attitude. You know. Yes. Um, if you're going to sit there and say, oh, today it's, it's not going to be a good day. Oh, I'm not going to get this deal done. Mm -hmm. um, that's not a way of going towards it. Yes, you get your days that you feel like it. Definitely, yeah. we all do. But what I would say is definitely go and enjoy it. Yeah. When you wake up, when you get to the office, make your list. Say, today I'm going to phone these clients. I'm going to ask them, how is it going? Even your previous clients, you know, to phone them, even if it's two years later. Mm -hmm. Say, listen, how are you? How are you doing? Even if you're not... You don't even have to phone for a car. No. Just ask them how are you. The yes. last time you bought the Ranger from me, how's the car? Are you still loving it? Yeah. And yeah. just build that client uh, relationship. Uh, and that's how that's you get good. your return clients. Yes. And like Definitely. I said earlier, on, those are those are the most enriching experiences of yes. sales because you know you're doing something right, and mm. you know that they want you to service them because yes. you've you've given them the attention that they deserve. Yeah, no, that's that's obviously a, a, a lovely um, feeling. Feeling, yeah. yeah. And then also, what I'd like to say is with us, in, with Case especially, you know, where I'm working currently. I think it's so much easier when you sell a car and you know that the vehicle is in perfect condition. You know it's mm -hmm. been through a workshop. I think if you can find a dealership where you can have that, 
Indeed. where you know that you're selling a good quality vehicle to a client or you know sometimes a client feels like a family member right. Um, that well, makes it so much easier. Absolutely. Well, that's enough. Mm -hmm. Now, Hess is giving you that uh, promotion. You will be one of his dealer principals when he opens another <laughs> five franchises. It's done now. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hope you listen. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, listen, no. I just want to say thank you so much. Congratulations on your nomination. Thank you. You are already a winner. Thank Please you. use your platforms to pay it forward and encourage more women and you know educate more women that want to join our trade. Let's let's just allow this to be, like I said earlier on, um, a snowball effect of empowerment. Yes. So I thank agree. you so much for joining us. Mm. And thank you. Days. You yeah, welcome. you too. Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> okay, you. and viewers, thank you so much for watching. But before I even continue, I just want to read a comment. Uh, if your idea of success is just about being ahead of others, you will definitely not explore the full potential of who you are. And that's just in light of what um, Anna Marie and I were talking about earlier mm. on. So I just want to thank you further for watching, commenting and sharing our interviews and content. Our non-profit company is the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards, which is powered by MFC and Evo by NetBank and the Talk the Talk Studios, powered by Seriti Solutions, are aimed at recognizing and celebrating the women of motoring South Africa. We are not just telling stories, we are changing lives. And together we aim to empower and uplift the women of our trade. For those of you that are searching for your new ride, please visit www.auto.avo.africa. We have thousands of vehicles on sale for you to choose from and we only advertise on behalf of reliable and trustworthy MFC accredited dealerships. This car listing portal is incredibly user friendly and you can also find vehicle reviews and car maintenance tips and advice or courtesy of Talk the Talk Studios. You may also find that Volvo I was talking <laughs> about earlier on from Geis Witzer. Ladies, we as women can quickly neglect ourselves for others. And I think I'm talking about this topic today uh, due to personal reasons um, where, um, you know, we, we as women, we're trying to balance, and I think most women do, mm. you have two kids as well, right? Yeah, definitely. So we're trying to balance uh, work life and, um, you know, home life. And yes. kids, it's difficult because there's certain things that a mom does for their kids where the dad sh falls short, but we fall short when the dad can do things for the kids. Yeah, um, right. And, and it's, it's just what it is. So it is so important to take care of yourself. Women should be able to take care of themselves while also caring for others. It is necessary for us to develop positive relationships with ourselves. Um, we all want to be happy and I have found that most of us who practice the concept of being kind are the happiest. We feel good about ourselves when we are kind and others want to be around us when we show kindness. Um, this all falls under the category, I think, of caring. We are at our best when we are caring and loving individuals. So please be kind to yourself, care for others, and always remember that the question should never be who's going to let me. It should always be who's going to stop me. Next.